Yo, what is good YouTube? Back again today with another NHL 20 video. Today I'm going to be going over all NHL 20 uh, deeks and uh, ways to score. So, we're going to get right into this video. So, the first one is the Spinorama. So, basically for this deke, all you're going to do is press LT slash L2 on uh, PS4. And you're just going to spin. Um, this is just effective uh, on rushes all of these I'll just say this right now all of these uh, deeks are really effective just for simple like one-on-one -on, -one on a defenseman and getting past the defenseman um, and guys just play around like you can see like different combos like I'm gonna be showing you guys that in like a few minutes that windmill deke um, so another part of the spinorama is actually holding LT and you'll see you have some like nice like precision movement. This is very good for a point. Say your top. I mean, I'm using Mika, who's a center. Um, but say you're a point, you get the puck right here. You pull it back. You get that little spin, and then you go bar down like that, which should have should have been a goal. But 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 whatever. Anyway, um, it's also right here. Like if you that's you can easily get past the defender. And I don't know how the hell he just put the puck in the net, but I'll take it. But say there's a fender on me, you kind of just get around and create space. All these deeks, like, the the reason, the main reason for, like, if you think about just uh, sports terms and stuff, like, dribbling in basketball and dribbling in 2K is, like, the same thing. I mean, it's dribbling. And the, the reason you do it in both, like, in real life and in 2K is you're trying to create space to get a shot off or you're trying to get to the hoop. The same thing for uh, hockey. Like, it's... Just think of it that way. If, if if you're new to like hockey and NHL 20 or N the NHL gaming series, basically, you're just gonna want to get to the get somewhere where you can get a shot off. That's that's why you de you, you want to get somewhere where you can get a shot off like that. Say there's a defender on me. Say I don't have a shot. I can't get to the inside. You pull out and then you go like that, and you get you get that space to get the shot off. It's like a three pointer, right? or like a you know two-pointer deep two-pointer or something you're trying to get space for that and also like say say you need to get to the net or you want to get to the net you go like that or something you, you use a deke you use a deke and you get to the you get to the net and you put the puck in the net um hopefully and so it's just like basketball you either drive to the hoop or you get space like that's that's what deking's for so yeah just some terminology right there uh basically the next one is stride deke uh which is literally just pressing L L B slash L one. Um so that's simple. Um I'm not really gonna be going over this these deeks because I've recorded this video twice now and it's uh got the first time I didn't have audio and the second time uh I didn't even record it. I thought I was recording but it stopped. Um and I didn't realize until after <laughs> after the video. So I'm just gonna be going over these because I'm a little irritated right now. Um, so anyway, the next one's a windmill. It's just gonna be pressing LB slash L1 and flicking the right stick. Um, it's a really effective one on one, one of the most effective ones. So it's literally just LB, and then you're gonna be uh, flicking the right the stick right or left, depending where you want to go to. Uh, if you're on the right side, you're left to go to the inside, right to the outside. Uh, next one is jump deke, which is still using L1 slash LB and just flicking the puck up. This is effective if uh, you know somebody's like dive blocking. A lot of online guys like to dive dive block. Uh, your opponents will dive block you a lot. You just get over them. It looks pretty sick if you uh, pull it off, get right over them. If you don't, you'll probably get tripped. So probably uh, penalty shot or in two minute power play. Uh, the next one is skate kick, still using LB slash L1. Uh, and you're flicking the stick down this time, and um, this is effective in close too. It's not just outside; it's uh, in close. Um, it's like precision, you know, precision deking. Uh, and you'll get the goalie sometimes like that. You might, ah, it didn't work, but you might get the goalie to kind of chill on his post if you're coming in from this side. And that wasn't the right move, but anyway. Uh, the next one is toe drag. Really simple. Uh, so if you're righty, uh, you come in and you go from like on the right stick. You go from like three o'clock to nine o'clock, and uh, vice versa if you're lefty. Um, 
and this will get you around and you can also like toe drag into a shot that's not what I was trying to do right there um, but you if you get the toe drag off see, I keep going back in or forehand to back in that's not what I'm trying to do yeah I cannot toe drag right now it's just giving me toe drag from back uh, forehand to back in yeah the shot shot thing not really working right now so anyway you just I mean play around with it you'll get the toe drag eventually and um, I, I think I am I am toe drag I'm just not getting the shot off so to get the shot off you just need to get it from like here but don't go to your back end and stay on your forehand and shoot the next one is the Datsu flip this is probably my favorite one um, you're just gonna come in press the right stick pull it back and tap RB and I suggest you actually do this as a lefty because you're probably gonna score on the goalie the goalie's blocker better than you are his glove and I almost did just score on his glove um, and it's not really you can't really do this on your back end because like watch what happens when I don't even know what the <laughs> I just sauced the puck all the way down the ice. Alright, my goalie's lit, so well maybe not. Yeah he is. Um but like if you come in on your backhand, like yeah, it's not gonna work. Um or not necessarily a backhand, just coming in on the wrong side. Um then there's also like a pull th like you you bring it through, so you instead of doing the flip and I just accidentally, by the way, fake shots, right stick, if you guys don't know that. Um, you hold it and then you shoot. It's a, called a drag shot, like it just said. Um, it's effective way of scoring sometimes, um, especially if there's a defender. Now, you can't really do this if you have a defender on. You have to have a clear-cut break, break away to do the flip, but the shot, you can have a defender on you and still try and get that off. The next one is a one-handed, which is also a deke, and it's called the one-handed tuck, but f for the deke, it's just like the one-handed deke. Basically, you're going to get it on one hand. Make sure that's important that you get it on one hand, like, or not one hand, but on one side, either backhand or forehand, not just skating like this. Um, you're going to want to press LB and RB at the exact same time, um, and this is really effective for online, because if you have that guy that, like, presses you, uh, at the blue line or even <laughs> close to the red line which some do um, that's an effective way of getting past them and then the one handed tuck which is one of my favorite ways to score um, is just you come down and don't get right in front of the net you gotta get to the side of it and sometimes I, I like coming in as a righty this is one of my favorite ways to score you come in down the left side um, like this and you just come in at the angle, go across like that. It's a really good way of scoring. Uh, okay, so the la uh, getting to the last couple of deeks, um, the between the legs shot pass uh, pull through. Yeah, that's just going. Oh, it almost went in. Damn. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is press LB slash L1, hold it, and also hold the right stick at the same time, and shoot like you normally would with the right stick or whatever you shoot with. Make sure that you do not let go of either one, or else you'll do what I just did by losing the puck. Um, and I keep doing it. So, oh, I must read that. The goalie, it, don't get in too close, by the way, on any of these deeks, because the goalies are really good at poke checking now, and they will, and they'll disrupt you, even if they don't poke it away. And so the pull through part, you make make sure you're really like holding right stick where it's at. You can't like move it around because like if you see that's what happens when you move around. Plus you'll probably shoot too if you move it around up. Um, and then there's the pass version um, where you just press RT like you normally would. And then the sauce is R right stick. Um, let's see if we can get it down the ice. There you go. There's the sauce. My goal is probably not gonna play that. Um, so then the another one is the sweep deke, um, which is literally you just hold LB L L1, and you move around with your left stick, the stick like you move with. Um, so then that we'll get into uh, we'll get into that sweep deke in a little bit. Uh, probably the next deke after this one. This one is the hardest one to pull off. Is the behind the back. Um, 
So you're gonna wanna pull it all the way back to where your guy is turned, right? So you see my guy Mika. Um, when he's like turned like this, that's when you you pull you pull it back on your right stick. Oh shit. <laughs> you pull it back on your right stick and then down to like here. So it's from here to here. And so it's from there to there. And then you kind of move your guy. So because if you just go from here to here, it's just like a toe drag. So you're gonna want to move your guy to a side. If you're righty to the right side, lefty to the left side. And then you're gonna flick the right stick up and press LB at the same time. And sometimes you'll go between the legs, sometimes you'll do that one-handed little thing. Um, it's really effective uh, if you're coming down like the right side or the left side is like a lefty or something. And okay, so the last one we're gonna get into is a Kucherov. This is personally my favorite one when it's done, right? It's not my favorite one to do because it's kind of difficult to do. Um, ba basically, you're gonna want to get to about here in between the top of the circle and the blue line, and um, that's when you're gonna hold LB slash L1, and then you're gonna coast in, and you're gonna press the uh, whatever hand you're on you're gonna wanna leave it there and then like as you're holding LB and then flick to the other side so if I'm on my forehand I'm gonna flick to my backhand if I'm on my backhand I'm gonna flip to uh, flick to my uh, forehand um, and then you're gonna at the same time you flick you're gonna wanna press down on the right stick so I'm gonna try and get a good one and then show you guys in replay mode just how it worked basically that did not go well Make sure you're not tapping LB. Sometimes I, I get to where I tap it. You can't tap it. It's you gotta hold it. Okay, so we didn't score on it, but um, I had a really good one in my first video I recorded today. But there's no audio, so I muted my mic. So basically, we're gonna come in. Or by now, you you need to have LB uh, pressed and held by now. If you don't, I mean, I I'd say at the top of the circle. If you, if you do it at the hash marks, you're probably not gonna get it. Um, off the top of the circle is the latest. I just do this to make sure that I have LB pressed and held. Um, and any if I screw up or like accidentally deke or something, because I mean it's sensitive. You press if you press it and let go, you're gonna do a stride deke and you probably mess it up. So that that gives you time. If you do it between the blue line and the red line or the top of the um, circle, it gives you time. If you accidentally did do that stride deke, gives you time to recover and then get into it again. Um, so there we're on our forehand and we're gonna press LB or not press it hold you're still holding it and then you're gonna flick it to the left because I'm on my forehand so I'm flicking it to the left with the left stick and you're not doing anything with your right stick until right now as soon as you flick that left stick over you're gonna press the right stick down and that's how you're gonna that's how the puck is gonna release. Now this this was actually discovered in late NHL 19 and publicized uh, by Nasher, who basically says, and I agree with him, if you pull this off in a real game, you're a legend. Um, I have not. I've only pulled it off in shootouts, and it's I mean it's crazy. It's it's a crazy move, uh, and it's not really it's not really like the exact Kucherov. Um, if you guys don't know the Kucherov, go check it out. It's a really sick goal. No uh, fake, uh, no deke fake thing. That uh, Nikita Kucherov, who number 86 for the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, made popular in the All Star game, and I think he's also pulled it off a few other times. Um, so that's why it's called the Kucherov. Um, also, like, make sure like I'm practicing with it right now, and I keep tapping it. Like, you gotta you gotta hold LB. You gotta remember to hold it um, like that. I, I'm letting go. It this this deke's all about timing. Most of these deeks are about timing. If you don't time it right, you're gonna get either lit up or you're just not not gonna do the deke right. Um, so anyway, that's that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, and about the comments, actually, like I don't I don't care about criticism. I mean. It's it's totally okay with me. I, I want to know what you guys like, what kind of videos you like, what what uh, videos you want me to upload, uh, what games, stuff like that. I'm gonna be 
I haven't played NHL. I'm a little rusty, as you guys can tell. I haven't played in NHL in about three months because of quarantine. I haven't been able to be here playing um, on my PS4 or my Xbox or my PC. I've only been able to play on my Nintendo Switch because that's all I have with my mom's. Um, I was playing a lot of Fortnite and got like 100 something wins this season. So, like, <laughs> I was going to try hard, but I got bored of Fort, so. I'm going to be playing NHL a lot and probably some 2K with Levi. Uh, go subscribe to his channel. It's Chalixy, J-A-L-I-X-Y. Um, so make sure you guys uh, subscribe to him. Me and him are probably going to be streaming, so make sure you go to follow both of our Twitches. His is the same. It's Chalixy. Mine's the same. Filthy Slips. Um, probably going to be streaming later today, in fact. Uh, probably 2K and some Fort. Last night we streamed some Fort, but... So make sure you guys check that out, and thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day.